And we're back for part two of our laser cut uh, box project. Uh, we left off with just having the full outer, you know, rectangle or full outer sides. And now I'm going to start doing the cuts that are in between and hopefully get to our array. All right. So looking at where we fully left off, we need to get these uh, zigzag lines here. And the reason why it's staggered like this and looks like steps is because they're going to interlock, right? When we cut it, it's going to fold and they'll fit in together. That's the way the camera's facing. It'll fit in like that uh, along the cuts. Uh, we don't need one up here because this is where our array is and it's going to actually fold like a hinge. Hard to, it's like a mirror in the camera. All right, so we need that one. We need this one too. And where, uh, what information is given to us here about these? Well, down here, right? Two and a half, three inches. So let's just start there to get the location of these. We'll go two and a half, then three inches. Look at that. So going back to our drawing here, I'm just going to offset. Uh, I already forgot the number, 2.5. Enter, and I'm going to click on this one and just go over there, 2.5, right? And then offset again. What's our distance? It's just three. Enter. Whoa, I zoomed in. That guy over three. So we have these points where we can start our zigging and zagging. So what do we know about this? Well, first of all, they're identical. So we only have to draw it once but they're mirrored. That's annoying, right? Is it mirrored? Mm, yeah, it is. Who came up with this design? This guy. So what do you know about it? Well, we know from this first one here, we go up a half and then it goes in an eighth and then we're gonna go up a half and then it goes in an eighth and up a half and then in an eighth, right? So it's half, half, half all the way up, right? How do we know this, that it's half all the way up? If this whole thing is three, half over here. So that would be one, two, three, yep. So let's begin with that, going back to our actual drawing line. So from here, we're going to go up 0.5, then up 0.5, enter. And then we're going to go over 0.125, an eighth, right? And then we're going to go, go up 0.5, enter. Then we're going to go over 0.125, enter. Then we're going to go up. 0.5, it's right there. We can just click. I'm going to click and delete my previous one. So now I just have my zigging and zagging. And then can we make our lives easier and just mirror this? No. No, it doesn't look like we can. Oh, but I can cut. Ah, ha, ah, ah. ha. Shortcut right here. Just do it one more time over here, and then we can copy and paste that. Yeah. So 0.5, enter. Over. 0.125, enter. Up. 0.5, enter, over, 0.125, enter, and then just straight up. So yes, you could have done this with all offsets and everything. That's all fine and dandy. Trying to make this so we can just copy and paste. But it looks like we have a 1 8 over first, and then I can copy and paste. Yeah, so if I go a line again, here over why is it not staying flat over uh, 0.125 enter and then it's just going to be going up i can just copy base point here to there did i do it first try does that look right does that look like the same top over in under yes Let's do the same thing over here. If I just do a, one more line, enter from here, go over 0 0.125, enter, and then just copy these guys. Base point down here to there. Wow. That doesn't look right. Is that right? We did it, right? Those look the same, the zigging and the zagging. I think it does. Let's just confirm, uh, throw some dimensions on real quick. Make sure that this guy here to here is two and a half. And this guy from here to here is three. That's good. And then one more thing to check here. If you look, I give you this dimension here. So hopefully, hopefully from this midpoint to this midpoint is two and three fourths. Look at that. Look at that. All right, we have our zigging and our zagging. Let's get back to um, 
drawing what else is left. So what else can we draw? Leaving there right for last, we need the slots openings for the actual side. So when we actually draw, if you look on the side view over here, you'll see that these pegs here are actually going to go into the slots that we're making, or about to make, right? Those slots all fit into these holes here, right? And they'll stack and wrap around. So what do we know about the location of these? Uh, a lot of it, it says TYP. TYP means typical. That means all of them are the same. And what information are we given about them? Well, over here, I see three-fourths over is our first one. We'll have one-eighth is typical as our thickness. And then one-fourth is typical of our width. So they're just a bunch of one-eighth by one-fourth rectangles. So why don't I draw just one off on the side somewhere, and then we can move it. So if I go to rectangle, click, drag, our x directions first, which is just 0.25, tab, 0.125, enter. So we have these little slot for the pegs on the side. And where is what? what is one bit that we know about its location? So let's uh, go back just real quick. I'm going to do this one first over in this corner. So we have three-fourths over, but then how far down? It's down here. It says one-eighth. All these numbers probably should have typical on it. Whoops. So let's do offset. I'm just going to do this first one first. It's 0.75, enter this guy over. And then I need to do the distance down is just 0.125, enter that down. It's going to be that intersection point right there is going to be our corner of it. Yes. So I'm going to uh, move, enter that corner to that corner. Enter. Now I can delete this line that I drew before and delete that line there. So now what is uh, what else do we know about this? Where's our other one? Our other one, if you look, uh, it says spacing one inch typical. So one inch typical means the next one is just directly one inch over. So if I just go over here and I could, what's the easiest way? What's the easiest way? Why don't we just do another offset? Just do one, enter that. Oh, that's going to offset that way because it's exploded. Why don't we, ah, easier, easier. Let's just draw a line. This, go over, just one, enter. Then we can click on our box, copy, enter. Base point is going to be the midpoint of this side here. To there, enter, click, delete. One inch uh, spacing in between, copied beautifully and expertly. How do we get them down here? Let's just mirror it. Copy, mirror, uh, here, and here, erase source, no, done. Now let's get the next ones over there. On the other one, uh, this is actually, what is this? This is the bottom, bottom pieces right here. Uh, information given to us over here, it says five eighths. It would have said three fourths, but there's the eighth that way. So this one down here is three fourths. Um, but five eighths, let's just uh, offset this line five eighths. And by this line, I mean this line. So offset five eighths, uh, just five divided by eight, enter. That guy over. Escape array, specify distance 0.125, enter. That guy down, escape. I'm going to click, click, copy. That's, I forgot to see, and copy. What, what, what? C, O, copy, got it. From this point here, and go to there. Beautiful, beautiful, delete, delete, highlight, mirror there to there no there we go getting slots getting slots getting slots oh uh, what's left what's left these slots over here we got two left uh this one says 13 sixteenths who came up with this design look you'll see it matches this one 13 sixteenths so let's uh offset that 13 sixteenths mirror 13 divided by 16, enter. That guy over, escape, offset. This is 0.125, enter. Up, 
escape copy copt c o enter select objects did it backwards this time whatever base point down to there escape delete delete highlight mirror about our center line resource no hallelujah all right we've gotten somewhere all right i have all the tabs in now for uh the spacing uh to make sure we have all these uh spots right right is that going to give me 13 16 at an angle that was nice of it uh, linear there to there 13 16 what other random ones do they give us here they give us this one up here as uh, five ace got it these in between should all be an inch got it that one to that one should be an eighth got it that one to that one should be a quarter we are on a roll here no mistakes at all all right and these guys these are all halves right we did all that right that was nice of us and these are all eighths right no mistakes let's keep going so what do we have left we have this lovely array left and this lovely array is um poorly worded let's say by me i didn't know how to word this exactly so it's a good thing i'm making this video here Ooh, but we're already at 11 42. i'm gonna stop it i'm gonna stop it i'm gonna make part three because we still have to do the sides right but it looks good we're getting somewhere we've got the zigging and zagging and we got the plugs all right so i'm going to stop uh the video here definitely do the array and the sides in one last video all right Good luck, have fun.